Alrighty guys, so let's do a quick update on SoFi stock, which you guys know has been completely on fire these past couple of days. I mean, this thing was just a couple of weeks ago at what, four, four and a half bucks. Now we're pushing up over seven bucks a share. Insane. Today's currently up around 4%. What time is it right now? It is almost 3 p.m. power hour when I'm making this video. Not sure when you guys are watching it, but SoFi is up, like I said, around 4%, 26 cents in the green, up over seven bucks per share. Currently it's sitting at $7.80 cents per share. So before we dive into the video, if you guys have not gotten up to 16 stocks yet for Moomoo, what are you waiting for? Each of those could be valued up to 2000 bucks. Just use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo. Open up your account. You get one free share of stock right off the bat and fund your account with at least $100. Guys, you get five more stocks totaling six stocks and fund your account with a thousand bucks. You get 10 more stocks totaling 16 free stocks. So if you guys want to help the channel out and you want some free money, who doesn't like free money? Use that Moomoo link down below. It is greatly appreciated, guys. And now, cheers. Let's dive right into the video. So, like I said, guys, this stock's been going completely bananas. Everybody and their grandma, at least I think everybody and their grandma should know about that. And today it actually saw a little bit of a sell-off in the morning. Look at that. We saw a big spike, or not a big spike, a big drop rather, a uh, big drop down to around six dollars and seventy cents after hovering around seven ten to seven fifteen all pre-market. You guys can see more like $7 to $7.10. Either way, we were chopping around there all pre-market. Then once the market's open, boom, we dropped down to around $6.70, which you guys can see that actually held yesterday. Very interesting there. Let me actually draw that trend line out. So we actually went down to $6.70 this morning, boom, held that, and we saw a nasty V-shape recovery after that. Look at that, guys. We went again. 670 v shape recovery we, we pretty much recovered all that loss we went up to around seven dollars and ten cents again and that's kind of where we've been coasting for uh the past couple of hours until now which is why i kind of wanted to make this video because now as the markets you know we're about to close we're heading into power hour the week's you know pretty much over right we're starting to break out heading into close. And now we're heading towards the highs from all day being around, including pre-market, being around $7.10 to around $7.12. You guys can see that's a big spot. So I'm going to set my alert right now at $7.13, a little bit above that $7.12 mark. Or, uh, yeah, let me do it at $7.13. And if that does end up breaking, guys, initially we could end up making a move to 725 726 which is the intraday high from yesterday so that could be where we play initially right if we break 713 we could play you know up until that uh you know maybe 725 mark a little 10 12 cent uh window there one and a half two percent you know potential and then if that were to break guys now we're actually taking the highs out from the past couple of days we're going to be completely breaking out from there maybe going towards that eight dollar high which i forget when was that from yeah eight dollars and eight dollars and 25 cents that's uh, you know that's the high from when february yeah so yeah guys we could be setting up for a move higher even though we're very overbought here you got to realize that uh but it just does not want to stop and on this channel guys we break down the real-time movement of these stocks and we're gonna you know tell it how it is i'm not gonna be like oh this is happening when it's not I'm just going to break down what I'm seeing in real time, what's happening, and that's kind of what I've been doing here, and it seems like you guys like the content. Do you guys like the content? Let me know down below in the comments, but either way, this is breaking up towards the intraday high, very big uh, resistance coming up, and you could also argue, if I clear the drawing set, we have uh, an ascending triangle. Do you guys see it here? If I draw it out, maybe a little bit, maybe not, I don't know, but we do have, in my opinion, an ascending triangle here on the 5 day five minute which is clearly you know shown we have resistance at 715 roughly 710 and at the same time we've been making these higher lows into that resistance you guys see all these higher lows right so now all we have to wait and see is if we're actually going to break through that resistance at 715 go to 726 break that and start to you know make a move maybe towards 8 825 heck maybe even higher so keep that in mind i'm going to set some some alerts. I have one at 735 and 825. Might as well put another one at 
Um, 7.15. There we go. Mark is at or above 7.15. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I appreciate you guys as always. So the markets today, guys, it's uh, it's crazy out there. It's a sea of green. We have stocks like Macy's up over 11%. JWN's up 86 We have Nike up a ton, 5%. Tesla's up 4%. SoFi, which we're talking about now, that's up. I'm just reading down my watch list, guys. Uh, you know, Foot Locker, 3%. JD up 3%. Disney up 3%. And let's see, any any down movers today? Um, Roblox is actually selling off a little bit, which is interesting. We recently covered that one. Let me see what the chart is looking like. So it looks like, yep, we failed to break out of 43 bucks, which sucks. I mean, that needed to break out. So it's not the end of the world yet, but we are down 4% in the midst of a monstrous green day, which is not not the best sign. Uh, but we'll see if we, you know, hold this trend right here, which right now is still technically holding. We're above the moving averages on the four-hour chart. So let's see if Roblox could break back over 43. If so, we could be going up to maybe the mid-40s, high-40s, maybe higher than that. So Roblox is red. CrowdStrike is red. I think they reported earnings uh, yesterday. Either way, they're down right now. And any other big movers here? DraftKings is up 2.3%. Haven't looked at that in a while. Let me pull it up. It looks like here, uh-oh, B careful guys on DraftKings. Good thing uh, good thing I pulled this up. We have in my opinion potentially and of course nothing's guaranteed here guys, but we do have a head and shoulders in the making on DraftKings. DKNG is the ticker. You guys see that now? Uh, right now in real time, we're under that neckline, which is right around, where is that? $25, $25.25 roughly. So if we fail at that neckline, guys, do not be surprised if we do get some sort of drop on DraftKings, maybe down towards $20, $21, $22. That's where it could be going, in my opinion, which honestly would be healthy considering how much this stock has ran up in such a short amount of time. Year to date, DraftKings is up, guys. Are you ready for this? From $10 to $25, bucks, it is up well over 100%. Very big move for this particular stock. Let me see what else is moving, guys. Then we'll wrap up the video. Pretty much everything is moving. What's going on with Starbucks? Actually, let me pull that up. SBUX is the ticker. Starbucks right now does seem like it is holding, for now, the support from a couple months ago being about 98 to 9900 bucks. You can see back in the middle of March, end of March, we held that point. Then we saw a nice rally to about 120 bucks. So we're holding that right now. Uh, but, I mean, it's, uh, it's only holding by a thread. We still have a death cross. We're under the moving averages still. And, you know, you could also argue you were holding this channel, which is true. I mean, if we look here at the three-year chart, yes, we are holding this channel. And on the yearly chart, you guys can probably see it, but we're not getting that distinct breakout quite yet which would happen, in my opinion, if we start taking out, let's say, uh, on Starbucks stock, maybe 100 bucks, 105 more like 105 bucks, which is uh, right by the 180 SMA on the four-hour chart. So let me actually set my alert there now. Mark is at or above 105. And with that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe. And don't forget to get up to 16 stocks for Moomoo. Link down below. Each of those could be valued up to 2000 bucks. Once you open up an account with Moomoo, you get one free share of stock right off the bat fund your account with the 100 bucks you get five more stocks and fund your account with at least a thousand dollars guys you get 10 more stocks totaling 16 free stocks if you want some free money who doesn't like free money and you want to help out the channel use that link down below the Moomoo link get your 12 stocks from Weeble as well and check out my patreon if you guys are interested and with that being said cheers i'll catch you guys later